What's up, YouTube? Welcome back. It is my favorite time of the month, which means video games monthly unboxing. Now, if you're new to the channel or if you're new to video games monthly altogether, it is a subscription service catered towards retro collectors and retro game enthusiasts. You just go to their website, pick how many games a month you would like. They range from three to four to five, all the way up to 10 games a month, and they are priced accordingly. And then you just kind of pick out which consoles you have, fill out a spreadsheet of what games you already have, and then at the beginning of the month, they will send you a box and you get to keep all the games. I myself am subscribed to the regular Nintendo, the Super Nintendo, Game Boy, Sega Genesis, Sega Dreamcast, Nintendo 64, and the original Xbox. This is the first month that I've taken the PlayStation 1 off of my list. I just wasn't really satisfied with the quality of games I was receiving for the PlayStation and I kind of felt like they were using it as a way to kind of bulk up the box a little bit and they weren't that great of quality titles. So this month we've taken them off and we'll see if we get anything exciting, anything new. So without further ado, let's get into this. I'm gonna try to kind of get through this a little bit quicker than in previous months. It's heating up outside and I don't have AC in my little studio slash game room here. So it can get really hot, especially with the lights going and everything. So let's get into this, rip open the box. We're all gonna find out what we get together. All right, here's the beautiful box here. As you can see right on there, you keep the games. I don't know if you can notice, but there's a little bit of a bulge in there, which means we're sitting good on this one. So I like to just open it like this. I like to do a little bit of a blind feel of what we got. Um, I don't know what that is, it's a package of something. They always throw in a little goodie something in there. Um, okay, so it looks like we got a uh, NES game, two NES games, three NES games. Game Boy game and another Game Boy game. So it looks like we're going full retro, The which I'm kind of excited for the past few months. We've got a, a lot of disc-based games, which is awesome. I really like to collect for the Xbox, but um, I'm kind of happy that we're getting something new. So without further ado, let's check out what this is. Oh, cool, Mario Kart collector pins. Looks like we got all sorts of cool pins. Mario, Luigi, Yoshi, Bowser. Princess Peach, all from Mario Kart. So let's open this up. Let's see which one we get. If I'm able to do it gracefully. Got it. All right, what do we got in here? Oh, a silver baggie. And inside that silver baggie, we got Mario. Perfect, so cool. Nice little Mario pin. Like I said, every month they send uh, they send out a little trinket too. It can be anything from uh, last month. We got a slap bracelet. Those are always fun. Um, we've gotten magnets before in the past, so this is pretty cool. This is a nice little uh, nice little addition to this month's box. Put that right there. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and put it up here. Maybe not. Perfect. It'll be fine right there for now. Okay, let's get to it. And here it is. Uh, so, without the PlayStation, we have ended our streak of getting one ups and two ups every month. Before this box, I've always gotten a one up or a two up before, which means that, like, I subscribe to the five game a month box. So, if I got a one up or a two up, that means there's an extra game, extra couple games in there. But so, you get this card with every box that you order. And this is just a reminder to update your game list, which you should do. Um, and that drastically decreases the chances of you getting a uh, any duplicates and whatnot. They're really good about not giving you duplicates, but sometimes they do slip through the cracks, but they've got great customer service as well. So if that happens, just contact them and they can help sort it out. And also on here, it says win three games. If you upload your unboxing to social media, as I am doing right now, you have a chance of winning a free three game box. I've never seen anybody get it yet, but that doesn't mean it hasn't happened. 
I just haven't come across it. So you get one of these in every single box. We'll put that off to the side. All right, let's start with let's start with Game Boy Game Boy games. We got two Game Boy games. So without further ado, three, two, one. We have F1 Race for the Game Boy. I've never played this game before. Um, however, I am basically starting from zero on my Game Boy collection, so I'm kind of happy for any Game Boy game that comes across my way. So F1 Race, obviously I'm assuming it's a racing game. They don't look great on the Game Boy, but it's still a fun one to have. So we'll put that one off to the side. All right, three, two, I almost looked down at the box, almost saw, almost ruined all the surprise for me. All right, so next up on Game Boy, this one actually feels like a Game Boy Color game. I think so. Yep, Tom and Jerry on the Game Boy Color. I love Tom and Jerry, grew up watching them, uh, you know, they're an absolute classic. Never played this before. However, I have a feeling that it'll probably be a pretty fun game, at least a game to kind of help kill the time and whatnot. So that'd be fun to have that one. So we have Tom and Jerry F1 race for the Game Boy. And now we are moving on to the NES. We have three NES cartridges here. So this will be exciting to see what we got. All right, first one, three, two, one is Tiger Heli on the NES. This game's actually pretty fun. I almost picked this up at my local game store just last week. Um, I was in there just kind of cruising around and I saw this one. Pretty simple, you're, a, you're an attack helicopter, you play through the levels, blow stuff up. Pretty fun action game. So I'm, I'm really happy I, I didn't pick this one up because I wasn't have picked it up in time to update my game list and so I would have gotten a duplicate. So really happy to have this one. Pretty cool to not see that that one made it in there. Uh, next up we have Skate or Die classic Nintendo title. I'm actually really surprised I don't have this one in my collection already, but I do now. One of the first skate games out there that I remember playing. Really fun, very difficult, but still a really good time. And um, all I remember really is you skate around and at the end of the time, the Grim Reaper comes and kills you. So, <laughs> uh, Skater Die for Nintendo, great pickup. And last but not least, the very last game we've got for today, of course, we've got some bubble wrap. Always comes with this, help make your games a little bit more secure. And so for the final game of the day, we have three, two, one, Silent Service. Never played this one before. I remember going to the video game store when I was younger, looking for a game to rent, and I remember seeing this one all the time, but never getting it. I'm assuming it's something to do with submarines. So I'll definitely have to give this one a little bit of a play. It is in stellar condition though. Really clean, little to no scuff marks on it. So I'm assuming whoever owned this before also didn't put too much time into it, but really great one to have as well. So, and that's it. There you have it. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. The first one where I didn't get any disc based games at all, which was kind of surprising, but I'm happy with the cartridge games that I did get as always. Be the reason somebody smiles out there. Always remember that BR loves you. And we'll see you next time. Terrific.